Okay, so this is the Procreate pressure curve. It's in my opinion, one of the most underrated features in Procreate. And today I'm going to show you exactly how you can adjust it to make your iPad lettering look even better. So a while back, someone asked me on Instagram about my pressure curve settings and to keep things short, here they are. But before we talk about this curve that may seem a bit daunting at first, let's look at the graph itself. So you have a typical graph with a horizontal and vertical line or X and Y axis if you want to sound more sophisticated. But putting math terms aside, this is what they stand for. The X axis indicates the force detected, whereas the Y axis represents the overall force applied. So as an example, this curve A would mean that my strokes will come out thinner because the overall force applied is lower. The opposite of that would be this curve, we'll just call it curve B for now, and here the strokes will come out thicker because the overall force applied is now higher. Now why would I change the pressure curve in the first place? Let's just take a look at an everyday scenario in which I write the word brush. This is curve A, which again is going to make my strokes come out thinner due to the lower force applied. And this is curve B, again the exact opposite of curve A. Now to be clear, I still apply the same amount of pressure, the only thing that has changed is the pressure curve. So you can see by watching them side by side, curve B allows me to produce much thicker strokes with less pressure applied. So if you're someone who doesn't like to apply a lot of pressure, a lot of force on the screen of your iPad, this is absolutely a great feature to have. Now here are three more examples. First curve C, this one curves slightly in the lower and higher ends, which gives you more control on the thinner and thicker parts of the stroke. Next we have curve D. Now this one reaches the maximum force applied and only half the force detected. So you only really have to use half the force to reach the maximum size. Great for people who have a lighter touch. And then we have curve E. This one's already ramped up at value zero, meaning your strokes will be thick from the get-go. Doesn't matter how light you touch the screen, the lowest values won't be detected anymore. So these are just a few examples of how a pressure curve can look like. Big shout out to Procreate user Azard, hope I got that right, um, who actually posted about this four years ago. And I still think to this day, it does the best job at explaining the pressure curve and I leave their link to the original post down in the description for those of you who are interested. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know on Instagram or in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.